Let's turn to another earnings mover. Take a look at Fiserv today, higher this morning after delivering a beat on the top and the bottom line, raising guidance going into year end, all just a day after announcing a new partnership to expand its reach into payments processing for small businesses. Joining us at Post 9 today as CNBC exclusive is Pfizer CEO Frank Isignano. Good to have you back, Frank. Thanks Good for coming. Good to be us. here, Carl. We Good just, to see you, sir. We were just, we're just talking about the mood a moment ago uh, off camera and what the tone is like from your visits. Uh, how much of it is reflected in the guidance in the quarter? Well, our guidance reflects everything, you know, and I think the tone was really about uh, what's going on around the globe. You know, we've never had two wars before. Uh, the change in the speaker, uh, but I think the consumer is still spending, um, and you know our bank spending is is still there. Uh, but obviously, it's re all of the world's issues are reflected in our guide as best as we can see. Is it? We mentioned small business. Is it filtering down to to the small and medium sized business, or is their concern still about how things cost year on year, looking back twelve months? Well, you know, inflation definitely had an effect on small businesses, but, you know, they're still seeing growth. Uh, they're serving the consumer, the consumer's spending. Uh, they're looking to grow. You know, uh, you mentioned Milio. That's about helping them manage their business better and helping banks partner with them better. So I think small businesses are feeling, hey, we're here, we're open for business, and consumers are, are using them. Your, the Clover business, which competes with Square, had really strong growth, double digits, 26 percent revenue growth, payment volumes up 15 percent. Is it a strong consumer or are you taking share from competitors like Square? Well, I mean, it is, it, you know, there's uh, Square, there's us, and we're really the two largest SaaS platforms out there. But the market is very, very large. So we have been a share gainer. Uh, and we also are bringing more value-added services. So our ability to expand the TAM, our total addressable markets with our clients, continues to grow. And Melio would be an example of that. What about the consumer overall? There was some concern that we'd see an impact from the student loan payment resumptions. Are you seeing that at all? What we see right now is uh, kind of flat to what we saw last quarter. Uh, so you can s consider it on a year-over-year -year basis as a slowing, although the fourth quarter is a very tricky quarter because of the holiday season. So I think the second half of this quarter will be very telling to how strong the consumer is going to come out. But they're out and spending right now, and you see that in our revenue growth numbers. So in a good way, I mean, right? The idea yes. that the holidays remain robust. Yes. Given labor conditions or whatever in this country. I think so, yeah. 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 How about internationally? I mean, we talk about all the concerns here, but, I mean, Latin America, Europe, is there still a sense that that North America is still the best house? Uh, I think so, yeah. although, you know, we're a global business. We have a uh, fabulous business in Latin America, Brazil, Argentina, where we do have a, uh, what I would call, excess inflation. Um, and, and some political uh, movement Yes, lately. right yeah. now, and I think that was a surprise, the outcome of that election. Um, so we'll see how it, that runoff occurs. <laughs> yes. But I still think, you know, the U.S. is the greatest market. Uh, it has the best capital markets, it has the best uh, economics, and even though we've had higher interest rates, inflation, when you compare it around the world, it's, it's, it's a fabulous place to but be. But Latin America in particular is super strong. Is that sustainable for you? Uh, we've had built that business. We built a business in Argentina, a business in Brazil. Uh, we have a couple of points of inflation in that growth. But we're market share leaders in both those markets, and we continue to continue to grow.